So it looks like the Liberal Party of Canada and the Democratic Party of the United States, both Liberal parties, tend to have this the streak of putting out insanely cringy ads. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the Kamala Harris one. I'm not going to get into that too much, but I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's um, pretty damn cringe. I'm not going to lie. However, the Liberal Party of Canada decided today, you know what? It's Thanksgiving. We're going to out cringe the Democrats, which is a really hard thing to do. So they put out <laughs> they put out this Thanksgiving menu in honor of Thanksgiving Day, right? So let's just see what they what what they have to say here. Appetizer. Let's get started. I'm going to try to do this with a straight face. Appetizer. Let's get started with a look at Pierre Polyev's record. Already broke. Can't even help myself. Main course. The NDP abandons progress cold turkey. Okay, salad. Don't forget your greens. A side salad of climate action. It's going really well, by the way. Soup. Pumpkin soup. A hearty spoonful of support for seniors. (laughs) Starch. Hot potato. Passing fairness to every generation. Again, great job with that, guys. Because these 18, 19, 20-year-olds totally think that it's fair to go out of high school, get a job for 16, 17 bucks an hour, and have to pay $1,500 in rent if they want to move out of their parents' house. So fair for them. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys are right on point there. Dessert. Who's got room to watch our MPs dish it out? Speaking of your MPs dishing it out, about 20 to 25 of them have, have turned on you. So should we watch them dish it out? Should we watch them potentially vote for uh, with the conservatives and the bloc for a vote of non-confidence? Is that how they're going to dish it out? Because they don't do a very good job of it during question period. Coffee. Women's rights and what keeps us up at night. Listen, whether you're a man, a woman, or whatever else you want to be, this party does not give a rat's ass about your rights. Not even a little bit. They've proven it for 10 years. All they've done is make things worse. If you were a woman, if you were a nurse, and you didn't want to get a certain medication, you lost your job. But now they're saying it's your right to choose. What a bunch of horseshit. It's it's almost like they're trying to go to zero. You know what I mean? It's like, like whoever put this out, you got to wonder, like, okay, does this person hate Justin Trudeau? Because this is not going to help them. The only kind of people who enjoy this kind of garbage, this insanely cringe garbage, are people who are already supporting the liberals. This is not going to flip anyone over back to their side. Not a chance. I wasn't even going to make a video on this, but it's just so funny and stupid and cringe. It's just like they, these people need to be exposed for how stupid and awful they are. Don't forget your greens, a side salad of climate action. Who's got room to watch our MPs dish it out? Like, what's happening here? Who thought this would have been a good idea? I I really want to know who this person is. I'd love to interview them. I don't even know where to start. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. I tried to keep a straight face. I couldn't do it. I bet you a lot of you guys couldn't either. But let me know what you think of ads like this. Do you think that these ads are effective or do you think that the ads that I've shown you that Pierre Polyev has put out is more effective? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I really appreciate all of you who have and all of you who are going to in the future. Um, thanks again for watching the video and I'll be back shortly with a new one.